Welcome back to Smorgor Fortress. So, in the previous, uh, at the end of the previous episode, we had some Silicus Ooze collapse on us. Uh, after a little bit of looking up, apparently that's what the what the ocean floor is made out of. So, how it got up here, I have no idea. So let's check the wounds. Um, the good news is it looks like sort of whatever caused that just knocked a couple things out. A um, couple of stuns, couple of minor injuries. Uh, actually, I don't think any injuries. So. Badly crushed. Oh. So apparently we actually did have one death. Okay. Able to complete fortification. Let's see, get the wall built up some more. Wow. So, I'm going to make a couple of rock mechanisms, uh, just to kind of have them around. So, the Humans are going to be after thread, meat, and crutches. Okay, um, as odd as that seems. We can work with it. And I'm actually going to leave that uh, forbidden. That's where the invasion came in. So the drink has sort of recovered. Uh, food's down a bit. See if we can get some more mugs moved over. Okay. 
And probably before we get too carried away with this, I'm going to do the uh, do a quick cleanup on this. And that didn't really help. <clears throat> What is... oh, that's rotting. Uh, do we have... Oop, uh, let's see. So hopefully if the trader ever gets off his break, uh, we should be able to get sort of enough uh, goods and whatever uh, to fill probably the next year's worth of crafting and construction. Uh, if we miss that trade, uh, if we actually miss the caravan, then hopefully the dwarves will bring some of the useful items. Oh, uh, that is probably something I should do, is get a fishery uh, set up. It's probably not going to actually, it's probably never going to be used. But on the off chance that someone does decide to go catch some fish, it's always better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So, uh, let's go downstairs, and I need to set up some more hotkeys. Uh, this is going to be We should. No, oh, we already have that one. So those have been dug out, those have been dug out. Okay, that's that done. Uh, next we need some doors. And that's granite doors. do actually now have enough beds. So 
and I need a sweeping area hotkey. Okay, so H5, zoom, name. Bed. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this in one of the previous episodes, but I would like to see a feature that will actually it's sort of best demonstrated here. So here we have a bed placement menu, and we place the bed, then we need to select the item. So instead of having uh, instead of having it listed by the type of bed, if we go to expand, here everything is uh, in an unsorted list, so we have all the wooden beds, uh, intermixed uh, qualities of beds, uh, a random redwood bed. I would like to see a feature that has them sorted by uh, by quality, and I do believe there is one out there. I just don't know where uh, where or what it is. Those are being placed. Those are being placed. So I think sort of one of the uh, sort of silly dwarf projects that I might try to do this time is uh, once I get the fortress sort of at a stable point, uh, replace everyone's bed with a, or replace everyone's bedroom suite uh, suit with a masterwork, uh, masterwork items. Uh, smooth bedrooms, uh, smooth, smoothed and engraved bedrooms, ma masterwork, uh, bedroom furniture, uh, tantrum, spir tantrum spiral, pretty much permanently resolved at that point. Bed. I know some people uh, have, some people actually go in and basically paint the walls with a particular color or particular sort of colorations, uh, color-coded fortresses. And while it might seem a little silly, uh, I think it would be sort of... sort of interesting to do. It's a lot of work and A lot of effort, uh, of course. Sort of the one reason I don't do it is because you can't engrave the wall, uh, the constructed walls. And speaking of sort of uh, stupid dwarf trick projects. Uh, instead of coloring them with sort of various assorted, uh, various stone colors, so probably do construction of stone block, uh, do construction out of uh, valuable metals. 
Bonus points for candy. <laughs> Although I think at that point you might have to... You may have to resort to a little bit of cheating to get enough sort of acquired to do that. Beds. Oh, and I still have more. Luckily, this is the last layer. Oops. Okay, so that's the beds put in. As well as most of the... Bedroom. So most of the bedrooms and the doors are starting to be put in. And... Okay, here we go. Beds, beds... Beds. And it's looking like that's it for everyone. Okay, so last shot at this. Let's see if we can get uh, search mug. And what I'm going to do is see if I can swap out the broker with someone different. So welcome is... Potter. Who is otherwise completely completely useless. So let's go ahead and assign you as the new trader. Requested at depot. And we now have a mayor. Oh, that's what it was. Uh, there is bedrooms. And I just remembered what I was going to be doing with the side. I'm going to have to dig out some uh, sort of office space and uh, sort of no, uh, elected official bedrooms relatively soon. So hopefully the trade will show up. Uh, if not, it's not going to be a huge deal. We do have a Dwarven Caravan that should be arriving in a couple of weeks. Well, no. Uh, six to eight weeks. Sort of standard shipping times. So at this point, who is not doing anything? Let me 
jobs. The miners are not. Okay, let's go down to here. And let's remove that for the time being. Okay, so much for the final little bit of trade. Uh, midsummer, okay. So it also does appear that the sort of merchants, uh, merchant pack of time has been significantly reduced. That was one of the sort of major sticking points in the last fortress. It took everyone so long to get their stuff packed that the uh, the human caravan would come, uh, bring relatively few items, and the or not really relatively few, but they would bring relatively few useful items, and the sort of usefulness was limited at best. Uh, a couple of steel uh, trinkets toys, assorted tools, and whatnot. Things for workshop. Oops, uh, A, B, A, G, Repeat and suspend. So, the humans would bring Low items of uh, low u well low useful shit. I'm tripping over all this. So they would bring a couple of things. Uh, the dwarves would be bringing stacks of iron bars that would be immediately useful. And I need to check this. Uh, okay, so female mayor. Useful. Nasty. Yeah. Caught in the rain. So 80 years old. Uh, should be relatively good as far as not dying of old age. Uh, let's see. Earthenware, iron, fire opal, chimpanzee leather. Cheese, lunch roaches. Uh, Queen's Ideal, so very talented. So, after sort of perusing this dwarf, uh, and making sure that they're not going to be... Fire Opal... Okay, so, after a quick perusal of this dwarf to make sure they're not going to be requesting anything like... I don't know, golden siege bolts, or equally stupid items like that. Uh, backpacks are uh, relatively easy to make, as well as relatively useful. Uh, export value is relatively modest, but all I have to do is expand your military a little bit. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and keep this, our newly elected mayor, in her sort of designated position. Uh, next, however, we need to get 
a sort of bedroom. Dug out. That's that, that's that. So, uh, sort of in the interest of getting uh, the next projects moving along, and this video is a little shorter than usual, but probably not a bad thing, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here and get some more designations laid out. And let's see what else needs to be done. Uh, build. Can we get...